Everybody keeps asking me if we this little coyote is uh, self-sufficient or not. And yes, she is. I just give her snacks. She catches all kinds of game. Um, her favorite is birds, believe it or not. Uh, she catches tons of birds. I give her snacks, I help her out. And some of the things I do to help her out, fun for me too. Um, I made a couple fast forward videos, so they're gonna be quiet, but it's gonna take too long if I just uh, done nothing but showed you what I do for her. So uh, enjoy the show. And after the fast forward videos, I'll show you how the plan comes together. Look at that, that's neat as hell, even matches my house. It's got a little tension setter for squirrels to get up on there, but six by six steel pole schedule 80, I don't think they're gonna be crawling up there. Boink, look at that, boink. Loves her belly scratches. Good boy, duck, you get half. You only get half. And of course, Weave is gonna be afraid of the new bird feeder. But, she'll get used to it. Here, babe. <whistles> oh, almost caught it. Damn tomato plants in the way. I got my new uh, bird feeder hung up there. Tracks all kinds of new birds. Maybe we will get a couple. And until then, we wait. And while we wait, we hydrate. Just gonna be here waiting for a bird. I'm joking, man. This is bullshit. I actually went to the bar. I don't do internet stuff. I paid a lady's $15 tab for her to order this for me just to make a joke. Sorry. I'm here. <laughs> In all honesty, she does catch a lot of wild birds. And uh, every once in a while, she'll bring me a live bird. If you guys want to go to my TikToks or my older YouTubes, you'll see she brought me a live cardinal. Took it away from her and actually set it free and it flew away. Oh, she got me. Something weird is she does actually catch a bunch of the, or not catch, but finds a bunch of these freshwater mussels. She loves them, takes her forever. Usually she brings them out of the river, chews on them while they die. Once they're dead, she can pry them open, get all the goodies out of them. And Duck, on the other hand, is sitting back here behind me. And uh, if you check him out, he's actually got one of her kills. Yep, she gets all kinds of trash. And um, she's actually pretty good at it. I mean, a lot of times, I post videos every day, but I load my camera up. This little girl shows up at the house maybe three, four days straight. And uh, she's awesome. But if she gets a fresh kill, and it's more than what she can eat in a day, she may not come home for three or four days. Drives the TikTok fans mad if I post that uh, she's not been home or she's been missing for a while. But, um, yeah, she does her own thing. Look at her. She's rolling on that muscle. She's got it all cracked open now. She's eating all the guts out of it. Ugh, that's stagnant. Pretty cool. I mean, if you think about it, that's pretty smart for her to lay them on bank and wait for them to die. Duck actually has the bite force to break them open, but uh, he really don't care for them. Toes don't have that big a bite force. This is actually where they spend a lot of their evenings. Weeva does not come out until it cools off. And she's on the wrong side of the river. That's her over there playing at the public boat ramp. Come here, babe. <whistles> Doug is smart enough to know he gets his ass chewed if he goes over there. Try to get over there with him without getting my boots wet. 
God dang, she does this, makes it look easy. Yep, that's my boat ramp there. So they're always right below the house, but for some reason, sandbar won't go to my boat, so I gotta go through there. He's such a good boy. Um, our next move is probably going to be squirrel feeders. Um, I didn't find this out until uh, I was at a dinner this winter. Uh, a couple of the bigger towns around here has got a severe problems with squirrels. And there's a whole group of people that's been trapping squirrels, bringing them down right in my front yard and releasing them or over here at the public boat ramp just to get them out of town because all they do is drop nuts on their house all day long and climb down their chimney flues and through vents and they're very destructive so uh i'm gonna start some squirrel feeders i've already got a shitload of squirrels around here we even duck have a hell of a time catching squirrels though she has brought me live squirrels and she actually brought it into the house i i do leave the door open a lot just so she can come and go as she pleases and wake up to hearing a bunch of scratching around on the floor and yeah, she let a squirrel loose in my house. Ah, right, look at us. We're just a couple more freeloaders, taking Tim for everything he's worth. I'm gonna start with his dog food, end with his beer. I smell beer. Ah, let's just take the dog food for now, man. We'll get the beer later. He'll leave empties. Whoa, whoa, I think I've already had a couple beers. No walking quite right, Captain. Oh, right in the frickin' starfish. What'd you bite him for? Huh? Why'd you bite him? Oh. People keep asking why I don't ever put a reflective color on her, a bright orange color. Right there's the reason. And she's got the perfect camouflage. <whistles> Come on, girl. You get on our side of the river. You little shit. Yeah, she'd stick out like a sore thumb on a prom queen if uh, she had an orange collar on over there. And a lot of city slickers in this area would mop her just for the threat of being a coyote. A lot of hunters around here use thermal scopes. They can't see that color. Plus, if they do get a color on a coyote and they see it, it's a trophy to them because they think it's a tracking collar. Usually universities or a department of wildlife will put collars on them. And so that way they can keep track of them where they're at. You get that collar, you call it in and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a trophy, but yeah, you can't even see her over there. And that's 50, 60 yards. She blends in perfect. Perfect camouflage. On fourth floor with a bunch of leaves, she really blends in. Come on, baby. Come on, you need to come over here. Come on. I still think that's cute as hell whenever she answers me back like that. Now I gotta jump back over, crawl across the log jam with muddy boots this time. So I don't know if I wanna film this or not. And uh, have you guys laughing your ass off. And I've got two or four beers in me. Oh yeah, boots are slick. Oop. Oh, nice little helper right there. Oh, you crawl under this log. I bet there's all kinds of fish underneath there. Hog them out of there. Whoop, whoop. Come on, one less beer and I'd have made this already. frogs in there I love wildlife okay I have no clue what he's after but he's trying to get it 
some kind of bug. Come on, duck. Got to fly after you, don't you? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's go home. Come on. Come here, good boy. Come on, good boy. Come here. Come on. He don't like to swim. Of course, no guy likes to get in there deep enough to get your nuts cold. Are you my buddy? Are you my buddy? You're a good boy. Come on, Weave. She's finally coming home. There's Duck. You can hear her coming across the water. There she is. Rawr! Come on, baby. Come on. Get up here. Whoa. Nope. Let's get the zoomies. Yeah, she's all kinds of fun. She makes Duck fun. Hi, baby.